that mammoth was only triple the size of a normal mammoth, but apparently we can go all the way up to 15 times the size. <laughs> Call it morbid curiosity, but... Oh my god, his feet are the size of the world. <laughs> oh, what's happening? What is happening? What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And today we have a pretty big episode because mods have finally come to tabs. Now people have been using these to kind of dig around in the game's files, and find a bunch of units that haven't been released yet, but the developers have asked that we don't cover them, don't spoil stuff, you know, they want to be able to work on stuff and release an entire faction at once for everybody to enjoy, and I can respect that, so we're not going to be using any new units today, but that doesn't mean that I can't make my own. We now have a unit editor where we can remove clothes, change their size, their health, make them wield one or two weapons, and give them pretty much any unit in the game. Which means we can mix and match everything. It's way more power than I should have ever been given. Oh my god, I already love it so much. The age-old question of which would you rather fight, a mammoth-sized hobbit or a hobbit-sized mammoth? This is just adorable and can't wait to get into the fight. I honestly don't know how this is going to work, because we can change their size, but we can't change their damage. I kept their health as the same, but a mammoth would normally be able to wool a hobbit, but if size affects damage, then maybe not? Hobbit doesn't seem to really understand how to fight him. <laughs> he wasn't expecting a little tusked football. Money-wise, that wasn't particularly fair, so how about we try again, except for this time we're gonna give the halflings a fighting chance. Now what if we give them a double pitchfork, and uh, we make a whole bunch of them? Oh, the pitchforks don't change in size! <laughs> so they're not pitchforks, they're just forks! What the hell is happening?! <laughs> Where are you going?! <laughs> <laughs> I'm only like 30 seconds into the video and I'm already crying. Okay, well, uh, before they all float away, how about we get some more tiny mammoths in there and fight. Oh my god, this is amazing. So are you guys actually going to use your little dinner forks to stab the tiny mammoths? They are. They actually know how to use them. Okay. Well, it still doesn't look particularly fair. Oh no, they're eating up all the mammoths. <laughs> I might have tilted things a little bit too far in the hobbit's way. It's third breakfast or second lunch, fourth dinner, I don't know, these poor mammoths. I can't even see them. They're just underneath the pile. <laughs> they're in there somewhere, I'm telling you. Oh, oh, there he is, you can do it. I believe in you, Snuffy. Come on, just keep stabbing those shins. He's the same size as their furry little feet, and he's actually roughing it out. Are they stabbing each other? I don't know if friendly fire is a thing in this game. I would imagine the developers probably took it into consideration and made it so that the units don't normally do that, but I went and threw a wrench into the entire game, so I can't really say for sure. Okay, you know what? Snuffy put up a brave fight. We will remember him. It's interesting that we can actually see the unit's health now. Now normally all the stats behind the units are a complete mystery, but we can see that the Mammoth has 3000 health normally, the Chieftain has 200, and so on and so forth. No idea about damage, it may have to do with size. You know, the Chieftain is technically 1.15 times bigger than a regular default unit, I suppose. All cool to see. I'm really curious if I can make a Mammoth that's just a little tiny bit bigger, and maybe get him stuck in the cave? <laughs> Every, everything I do breaks! Thank you. Thank you so much. Whoever did this, I don't know your name, but I appreciate you. This is hands down the best time I have ever had playing tabs. How am I gonna fight this thing? Maybe I can, oh, oh, um. Okay, yeah, there's one little thing where you can't really use the camera and screw with our sizes because then you end up inside of them. How about we give Cave Snuffy the maximum amount of health, 
and then pop him in there and have him shot by an army of Artemis. Because <laughs> I really want to see just how many arrows he can take. Okay, then. I really hope I don't crash my game. <gasps> well, I've never seen so many arrows loaded in at once. He just looks like an arrow bush. I've barely scratched the surface of this, and I can already tell that it is going to be a bottomless supply of scoring around. So if you guys have any custom units that you want to see in a future video of mine, leave them in the comments. I have no doubt that you guys will come up with a whole lot of creative, hilarious, game-breaking stuff that I probably wouldn't have. Like One thing that instantly came to me was what if we used a shield bearer against a bunch of Artemis, except we make them big, like... Uh, oh, there he is! <laughs> okay, screw it! Yeah, no, no! Hey, hey, hey! You can't be kicking over the enemy team before this starts! <laughs> Come on now, that's not fair! Okay, red team wins! Turns out without the shield, he's just one giant idiot! Maybe we'll dial that back just a scooch, right? Just enough so that he actually stays standing upright. Right, the weapons don't change, right? We still have the tiny little shield. He's just holding it up like a plate. That's not gonna help you at all, right? There's no way. <laughs> They're not gonna hit the shield, Oh man. What about a really big, really strong minotaur? Do you think we could actually make it so that he puts up a fight? He might be able to get in there, right? Oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. He can't even take a step forward. Oh my god, Artemis, you were so overpowered. That wasn't even close. He was just constantly getting riddled for like 30 seconds, and now he's more arrow than beef. As much as I would love to keep mowing down just every unit in the game with Artemis, I feel like we need to do a little bit more of the unit customization. So what if we take a mace spinner, but instead of maces, he spins with a couple of bone stabs. <laughs> oh, and he's quite a bit bigger. And the bone staffs are technically in his armor. Okay then. I'm really curious if he's just gonna kind of pirouette and make spikes go everywhere. That would be amazing. We're gonna make him face off against... I gotta go back to the halflings. Okay, except for this time, we're gonna make them real small. They're pretty much gonna be quarterlings. <gasps> oh my god, they're so tiny! If you're watching this on a phone, you might not be able to see it. I don't even know if they would be one full pixel on a mobile device, but there are a hundred tiny little hobbits running around in the grass, just waiting to charge over that bridge. <laughs> Look at them! Oh my god, come on dude, do your spins. You could do it. What are you doing? Why are you moonwalking away from them? It's, it's just an army of ants running at you. <laughs> Swat them away. Look at them. <laughs> How did Red win? They didn't even fight him. They never even had the opportunity to jump at his feet or do whatever tiny little hobbits do. You know, they just kind of walked at him and they terrified him so much that he jumped off the edge of the world. You coward. If we're gonna have 50 mouse-sized hobbits scurrying around in the field, terrifying everybody, then it seems only fitting that it's an elephant that they terrify. So what if we use a triple-sized mammoth? That might be just a little bit too big. <laughs> okay, we're running it. Do your best, Snuffy. This should be super easy for you. If you can manage to take a step forward, you can probably step on them. I have never seen the world from this perspective. I've never had to zoom out in this game before. I don't think he can win. He can't even hit them, right? He, he can't even get his whole ass onto the world. He is killing them. Right? He's managing to, to get them somehow. <laughs> You can hear the little cries of terror. I don't think he's really aiming. He's just tap dancing on the field and 
I mean, how can you not hit them kind of thing? <laughs> when you got feet the size of houses. Uh, are there any left? I can hear them dying, but I can't see them because they're shorter than a blade of grass. Where are you guys? Oh, they're over here fighting him, of course. They're, they're all jumping after his butt. <laughs> you guys are the real heroes, okay? I believe in you. I don't know if they're actually doing damage to him or not down there, but they're not taking damage. So this might be a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> Snuffy seems to be slowly but surely slipping off the edge of the world. Ooh, that might be a good way for the hobbits to win. If they just eject him into the void, he's falling. He's only got one stupid foot left. He might be able to fly for all I know. Okay, I didn't program that in, but would you be surprised? I've been watching what can only be described as the fight of the century for about 10 minutes now, and nothing has happened. <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and call that a stalemate. Good job, everybody. Okay, y'all fought valiantly. That mammoth was only triple the size of a normal mammoth, but apparently we can go all the way up to 15 times the size. <laughs> call it morbid curiosity, but... Oh my god, his feet are the size of the world. <laughs> oh, what's happening? What is happening? I can't zoom out any further. I, I can barely control the camera. <laughs> We've lost the world. The universe is just mammoth now. Okay, yeah, you know what? I, I think we're just gonna clear that out and probably move on. Now we're getting into some real experimental stuff. What would happen if I took a catapult and made it so that it could fire a catapult rock, but also a ballista arrow? Where would the arrow come from? Oh, oh, that was supposed to be one. Um, the, I'm only pressing, I only pressed once. <laughs> what the hell is happening? No, 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 clear it out, clear it out, clear. Clear! Okay. Well, I guess this world's been lost to the catapults. That's two worlds that I've lost to stupid units. <laughs> what is happening? I'm not doing anything. I literally just pressed once. I wanted to see if it could fire a boulder and an arrow because then it would be the perfect siege unit. This is not perfect. What if I remove hold with two hands and then use catapult rock and ballista arrow? Would that help at all? Nope, they're still all inside of each other. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Run it. it doesn't wanna run. I can't imagine why. Something tells me it's gonna be a little tricky to get this ballista arrow working, but we'll make it happen. What if we just take a regular archer and then make him fire ballista arrows? Would that be okay? That seems fine. Okay, well we don't have like 50 of them inside one another, so that's a good start. <laughs> just line up a few of you guys and we'll have them shoot at, uh, I don't know. How about hay balers? Just regular hay balers. I, I don't know if ballista bolts can pierce their impenetrable hay. We fired a lot of projectiles at them, but never one of those. So let's do a little experimenting. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. So they fire their regular arrows, and then you can hear them winding up the ballista bolt, but it just gets fired into the ground. And what's going on with this guy's head? Uh. Okay then, <laughs> there's a whole lot happening here. We got some giant headed freaks. We've got ballista bolts getting fired at their feet. I'm guessing the ballista unit is technically a regular unit lying down flat. So when these guys are standing up, they think that they're firing across when they're really firing down. It's so weird. I was about to say, here's the real million dollar question, but I feel like each of these is easily a million dollar question. Can the mammoth fire a ballista arrow or two ballista arrows? Is maybe it's also oriented strangely? I don't really know. I can't see how it's gonna fire an arrow, but it didn't freak out, so that's a good start. 
<laughs> go ahead and get our dummies set up. Where are you guys? There we go. Hey, Baylors. All right, Mammoth, you can do this. Oh. It's a good sound. Oh, it works! It fires both of them out of its eyes? What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> That's so good! Wow! Okay, I wish I could increase the attack speed. I don't think that's something I have, but if they could be like semi-automatic mammoth ballistas, then you'd have a real winner. I'm trying to think of all the other weirdly oriented units, you know, not units that walk upright, they're just a regular person, but something like the wheelbarrow, because it's technically three units. All right, so what if we change the wheelbarrow to Minotaur Grab and throw Thunderbolts? <laughs> and it's gonna have to be just a little bit bigger. Oh, 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 come on, don't be like that. <laughs> no, why you gotta ruin my fun? Wait, 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 the banjo is a weapon? So I can give anybody a banjo. What if we give the scarecrow a couple of banjos and then make him just a touch bigger while we're at it? He he now has banjo. <laughs> okay then, what if we have two of them face off against each other? How does this work? You guys have tiny little one-handed banjos. And that's about it. I was kind of hoping that you would replace the crows with banjos and you would make them fly out of you. But instead, you're just kind of playing two different sounds and constantly giggling like some kind of psychopath. <laughs> Not what I was hoping for here. So by the looks of things, you can't really mix two different weapons. You can substitute one for the other, but you can't bring over properties from one to another, which is disappointing and kind of conflicts with what I'm gonna try, but I really need to know, can you make Artemis fire ice arrows? Like, could she just rapid fire ice arrows and flash freeze an entire army? This is very important, we need to know this. So she now has two ice bows. And I don't know if that's just gonna be a regular ice bow or not. Okay, it is just a regular ice bow. But she does get to fire two of them. So she's still going to flash freeze this entire primitive army before they get anywhere near her. <laughs> so many ice arrows, oh my god. Okay, well, it's not quite what I wanted. I would have definitely liked there to be thousands upon thousands of arrows. <laughs> but seeing a giant pile of frozen cavemen is still pretty sweet. It's so strange that you can't, like, increase their attack speed and stuff like that. I feel like that was something that you could do in a previous... Oh, no, that was Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator that I'm thinking of. Yeah, breaking that game with Chuck Norris. How could I forget? Last battle, okay, I promise. Otherwise, this video is gonna be a million years long. I, I just can't resist. I really need to see if you can freeze a giant. What if we get just regular ice archers, a whole bunch of them, we'll get uh, even 50, how about that? And then they're going to freeze, ooh, I don't know. What do we wanna make big? What about Zeus? What if we have a gigantic Zeus? <laughs> I'm afraid to go triple times. I, I get the feeling it's going to be perfect. Yeah, that works. How many clickbait YouTube thumbnails have you seen with this kind of imagery? Just to realize that you couldn't do this in this game until now. You know, now it's actually legitimate. Oh, oh, he's not freezing. He's not even changing color. It's clearly pissing him off, but oh boy, you've angered the big god. The bolts aren't any bigger, so he's just kind of like sneezing them out. <laughs> Little tiny piss-off bolts. Oh no. So size must do something to their durability, because I'm sure you could freeze a regular Zeus, right? Yep, 
you can absolutely freeze a regular Zeus instantly. So there's something weird going on with the sizes there. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. This is a game changer. Honestly, I've been really enjoying the campaign, but I felt like it was starting to get a little bit repetitive. But with this, it's just endless possibilities for screwing around. I already have a dozen more ideas for stuff I want to do, but I have to stop recording now, which is a great sign. So like I said, if you guys have any custom units you want to see in the next episode, leave a comment. You might be featured. If you want to see more of this over the campaign, leave a like in the video. I'll be sure to return for more messing around soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.